McLean floats it forward. Barnes has made a run into the penalty area. He chests it down, going away from goal, but he's managed to cut it back in for Sargent. Oh, off the line! What a block on the line that was by Nat Phillips. Sargent had, to all intents and purposes, an open goal, teed up beautifully by Barnes, and he just made sure he got the shot on target. You can almost see him wheeling away in delight there, Sargent, but it was blocked on the line by a sprawling Nat Phillips. That was so nearly 1-0. He has it taken away from him by Kenny McLean, and McLean's first thought is to get up the field, and he's played the ball into the channel on the right. Sargent's going to get there, ahead of Gutas, the defender. He's got Norwich on the attack here, to, and stacy has gone on the overlap. Right-hand side, level with the penalty area, delivers the cross oh, towards Barnes, it's been cleared. Sainz is coming in on it, great first touch! Puts the shot straight at the goalkeeper, he parries it. Norwich can't get to the rebound, and it's cleared away. Twelve and a half minutes gone, Norwich have taken the corner to Stacey on the edge of the penalty area. Back out to Nunez, who delivers the cross from the right-hand side. Sarah gets his head to it, Hanley gets his head to it as well, and Barnes from close range puts it over the top. He's only about two yards out, was pretty high, though, really difficult to get over it. But on another day, Norwich could be 3-0 up here, and we've only been playing for 12 and a half minutes. Here's Grant on the right-hand side for Cardiff, level with the Norwich penalty area. Romeo behind him, up now to Calder, does really well to play Romeo in, in the penalty area, plays it across, oh, there's a touch at the near post, Handley clears, Romeo completely scuffs the shot. That was an opportunity for Cardiff, the best they've had. So now Cardiff are breaking again, Colwell's in this time, right-hand side, his cross dealt with by Sarah, but it comes back to Colwell, who takes on Sarah, plays it right across the face of goal, and it could be tapped in here by Collins, oh, and it is! Cardiff, against the run of the play, take the lead at Carrow Road. And it was Jamie Lou Collins who managed to get the final touch. Gun dive, got a hand to it, but couldn't keep it out. And Cardiff, having soaked up lots of pressure, have made Norwich City pay for those early missed chances. Norwich nil, Cardiff won. He's being tested defensively by a flying O'Neill Hernandez on the right wing for Norwich City. Up towards the corner of the penalty, cuts it back to Sarah. Shooting position for Sarah! Oh, off the post! What an effort that was from Gabriel Sarah, just where he likes it. Left foot, 25 yards, beat the goalkeeper, all ends up, and it's thumped back off the post. And he finds Hernandez again on the right-hand side. Hernandez races into the penalty area himself this time. His shot is blocked. He'll have another go. It'll get blocked again. He'll battle for it. It's broken for Nunez. His shot is blocked as well. This is almost like the last five minutes of the game stuff. McCallum heads it forward. Chance for Barnes on the volley across the face of goal. Did it get a deflection? It did. A corner is given. It's Hanley striding forward for Norwich City. About 30 yards from goal. Lays it back to Sarah, who plays it into the penalty area. Good ball. McCallum to the left of goal. Crosses. Sargent scores! Once again, Norwich finally take the chance. I don't think McCallum really got hold of the cross, but it found its way to Josh Sargent. And he was slightly off balance as he struck it goalwards. But at last, after all that knocking on the door, Norwich finally do break through. And it is yet another one for Josh Sargent at Carrow Road this season. Norwich City 1, Cardiff City 1. USA, USA is the chant for the Norwich crowd. We'll look at Sargent in a moment. They've got McCallum in again. Here's Chris Barnes this time. It's another one. Flags up, flags up. He was offside. They're still celebrating it, but the flag has gone up over on the far side. He did seem... I mean, he's glaring at the assistant referee there is Ashley Barnes. If I was the assistant, that would be enough for me to change my mind. But <laughs> yeah, no, goal. <laughs> it's not a goal, but that was a lovely move. Twice now McCallum's yeah. got in. He's, he's put a teasing cross in for the first one that somehow found its way to Sargent. That was a great ball into the path of Barnes. Oh, 
They've given it to Sarah, corner of the penalty area. Tries to drill it infield a little bit. He's being dragged back there, is he? Well, referee plays uh, on and then eventually gives a free kick. Sarah was scrapping before it. He managed to pass the ball whilst on the ground. And eventually, referee Darren Bond, who was enjoying the, the tussle there, uh, remembered that he was the referee and had the power to give a free kick and thought, oh, yeah, I better blow the whistle. Yeah. Norwich have this free kick, though. It's 25 yards out to the right of centre. They've had a few of these in recent weeks, but they haven't quite made one tell. Let's see. Can Nunez or Sara put Norwich in front before half-time? It is going to be Gabriel Sara this time. Yes! He has made it count! Beautiful free kick! And the goalkeeper, sprawling across his line, couldn't get there. Pinpoint stuff for the Brazilian. And Norwich have turned this one around before half-time. No more than they deserve. Norwich City 2, Cardiff City 1. Brazilian brilliance from Gabriel Sara. Bowler, right hand side for Cardiff, up to the edge of the penalty, hits a shot low, straight at gun. And the ball is with Grant Hanley, who's just miscontrolled that on halfway, he's lost it, and Norwich could be in trouble. Grant nicks it off him, comes into the penalty area here for Cardiff City, shoots low, deflection takes it into the hands of Gunn. Nice from Sargent to Hernandez. Sargent wants it through the middle. Instead, it's gone right to Stacey. Stacey will cross. Sargent's there! Off the post! And then he gets the rebound! And he's sent it in this time! Lovely move from Norwich City. Sargent raced through the middle. The ball went to the right-hand side. His first cross came back off the post. He got to it at the second attempt. And Norwich have a third goal. And Josh Sargent on target yet again. And that takes him into double figures for the season. 3-1. Fastnacht is on, on the right-hand side, five goals this season. And he might join the attack here, but it's Borja Sainz through the middle for Norwich City, up towards the edge of the penalty, gives it to Sargent! Oh, he's put it straight at the keeper. That could have been the hat-trick for the American. Good chance. <laughs> Plays the ball in near post, it's helped on, it's gone a long way, it might run for Sainz in the penalty, it takes a touch and then lifts it over the crossbar. Just went for... Some delicate place finish there rather than power for the science, but he couldn't pick out the net. Great control here from Fastnacht. Runs forward, finds Van Hoydonk, edge of the penalty area. It's Van Hoydonk back to Fastnacht from the angle. Oh, it's a brilliant goal from Norwich City. And for the second time this week, they've got four in front of their home fans. Fastnacht plucked the goalkeeper's kick out of the air with a brilliant first touch. Exchanged passes with Sidney Van Hoydonk, drove in purposefully, and that is Norwich City 4, Cardiff City 1. gets ready, free kick, right-hand side, played into the penalty, Van Hoydon can't quite get there, it's not really dealt with, now it is, cleared by Turnbull for Cardiff, up towards Tete, who holds it up nicely, and brings fellow substitute Josh Bowler into it, but then uh, there's a f that's full-time, and what a satisfying week for Norwich City and for David Wagner, and a really pleasing afternoon for him, because lots of attention on the comments he made after the game, calling for a United front, calling for supporters to come out and really back their team for this run-in, and they did. The fans made their voices heard. 
and Norwich City gave them plenty to cheer about. It wasn't plain sailing. They dominated the early stages here but didn't score and found themselves 1-0 down. A Jamie Luke Collins sucker punch giving Cardiff a, the lead for 20 minutes. But Josh Sars has just been named man of the match and I'm not surprised because from the moment that he equalised six minutes before half-time, the game was uh, really over as a contest. Sarah put in a deflected free kick, brilliant when it was too, just before half-time. Then in the second half, Sargent scored at the second attempt after his first one had been uh, saved onto the post. Then David Wagner had uh, the cushion that was needed to just take the pressure off Sargent, rest him, rest Ashley Barnes. Christian Fastnet came on, he scored 4-1 to Norwich City.